Howdy, Rabbi. Howdy, Joe. We were talking before the recording about legends. And the one that we focused on was the Alamo. Do you remember the Alamo? I remember the Disney version of the Alamo. And that really is the problem, Joe. It's time to forget the Alamo. Unfortunately, sad as it sounds, the legend of the Alamo has turned harmful. And it's when a legend harms people and gets us to change our school curriculum, gets us to say things that the facts don't support, that it's time to stop and say the legend is hurting. It's not a good thing. Because in and of itself, Joe, legends are neither good nor bad. They are legends. It's what we do with them, how we teach them. And when we use legends to suppress other people, to deny other people their rights, then the legends need to be stopped, changed, addressed, and we have to take a look at the facts. And therein lies the problem, Joe, because people aren't really interested in the facts because it interferes with feelings, emotions, and what they can do with the legend. And using the legend to rally the people to rally the troops, to do whatever it is we want to do. And more often than not, it's harmful. It's bad. I mean, we can go through Thanksgiving. We can go through indigenous people all over North America. We can look at the way we're viewing slavery. We can look at how we view the war between the North and the South and Lincoln's observations. And we can look at the legends about Lincoln himself, George Washington. There's lots of places we can go to look at our legends and we have to stop and go, okay, you know, that legend really is helpful. It is really good. It's doing something worthwhile. Or we can stop and say, that's causing us to rewrite history. And I don't mean revising history so it's more accurate. I mean revisionist history as defined by the Soviets, meaning you write out, you get rid of anything that doesn't support your view, even though the historic facts. And therein lies the danger, because even if they are successful, then you've now set the stage for the next group of people and the next group of people. So we have to stand on history and the facts and look at each other and say, These, this denial, this rewriting of history is bad. And the same thing in religion, by the way, Joe, that look at, at Afghanistan and the way they're treating women. They, and they base it entirely on the teachings of the Quran and Islam, but it's not there. Just not there. They're basing it on legends that aren't true. They're making it up. And we can see how harmful it is when that happens. And we can see it here in our own country. When we change the school curriculum to fit with the legend of the Alamo, we can see it in Florida. When we want to change how minorities were treated. And anywhere we go, we can see where it's flipped the line to be a nice legend that brings us together, that lets us celebrate, and it can be done. We can celebrate all these things together. Nobody has to be the villain. Nobody has to be the bad guy. It doesn't have to be. But too many individuals want to use the legends for power and control over other people. Well, I myself am looking forward to the day when a certain large company uses a certain famous cartoon mouse to reenact the Alamo. And uh, I'll be interested to see what role Pluto plays in all of this. But thank you so much, Rabbi. I appreciate, as always, your wisdom, your knowledge, and your understanding of topics is legend with me. And you've brought out the future topic for us, Joe. That is how the media movies, songs, and social media affect how we actually view world events in history. That's a good topic worth talking about, Joe.